wonder what else is on here. As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. But... Gordon heard about Batman's surprise visit to the mayor. He was far from happy. Thanks for the heads up. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hells, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. I can't imagine how you must feel. To learn so much in so little time. To hear their crimes detailed. First by Falcone, then by a snake like Hill. It makes me question myself. You shouldn't, Bruce. You are your own man. And the city needs you, now more than ever. I'll, uh, leave you to it then. Gotham District Attorney. Wait a minute. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at... What they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there. Now. Harvey needs to get out of there. Hey, Bruce. Man, I'm glad you called. I needed to talk to you, actually. Something's come up. Something that's... Well, it's not exactly pleasant. Harvey, listen to me. Stay away from the debate. What? No, Bruce, I I'm already here. Kind of crazy. Security's on high alert because of this threat from some guy named Penguin. They have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of kill, if you ask me. Uh, look. Bruce, I didn't want to do this over the phone, but... My advisors are telling me that I need to... <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you. Until all this mess with your family blows over. They're afraid it's not a very good optic. I, I don't care, Harvey. You need to get out of there. I can't leave now. I mean, think of the message that would send to the voters. Bruce, I'm ahead in the polls. A win tonight, and I could take the election. And what with the allegations in the press, and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. <laughs> but here's the thing, Bruce. Without your money, I am dead in the water. I know this is a delicate topic, but I need you to keep me afloat. I may have to trash you in public, but you and me, we all know the truth about our friendship. You've got some nerve, Harvey. Either we're a team or we're not. No, of course we're a team, Bruce. Of course we are. Just... <sighs> not in front of the press. Listen, I hate to push you, but I... I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? Whatever it takes to save Gotham, that's what we wanted. No, Harvey. You can forget it. That's disappointing. Right. Well, look, I have to go. The, uh, the makeup person is here. Guess they have to put on my face. Listen, I'm sorry we couldn't make this work out, Bruce.
Yeah, all quiet so far. I've got a feeling that's about to change. I just had the mayor in my ear about your visit. And after what you did to Falcone... Listen, I value you looking out for the city, really. People are terrified of you, including my cops. Fine by me. Just give me the report so I can protect the debate. Fine. Just do it without splitting anyone in half, huh? The GCPD has orders to take you in. After tonight, I can't stand in their way anymore. We have bigger things to worry about right now. Your security has been compromised. I've got patrols on every door. You better check on them. I'd keep that holstered if I were you. What's she doing here? She was part of that robbery at the mayor's office. Really? You're gonna drag out that dead horse? We're all on the same side, Jim. Well, this better not come back to bite me. Alpha Patrol, come in. That, um, incident in the bar. Dead is its own kind of cage. I can't stand being in it. Not that I needed your help or anything, but you had my back. I thought I'd repay the favor. You know, like you scratch my back, I cut some people up. Doing the right thing? Maybe there's hope for you yet. Don't read too much into it. I'm just allergic to owing you anything. None of my men on the ground are responding. Enough waiting. We're going in. Alpha, do you read? Now aren't you glad I'm here? Well, you have a better shot than my SWAT team of getting in there quietly. Well, we are seriously underfunded at the GCPD. Sounds like a vote for Dent, Lieutenant. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our live debate for the next mayor of Gotham City. This is an important debate for these two candidates, incumbent mayor Hamilton Hill and the challenger Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent. And it's also important for you, the citizens of Gotham, who will soon head to the polls to decide the future of your home, a city that's faced its share of hardships in recent years. Rising crime rates, income inequality, and yes, mass vigilante loose on our streets. The candidates will tackle it all. We know why they weren't responding. Gordon, we found one of your patrols. They've been terminated. Oh, there's goddamn sorry, sorry, ladies and gents. As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. First order of business firing the moderator! I hate to be a downer, but these hostages, I don't like their chances. Oh, they just didn't have a head for the issues. Don't think about the odds or you'll make mistakes. You have to stay focused. <laughs> Speak for yourself, Batman. <gasps> you'll do. Get out here. Keep it quiet back there. These guys are armed to the teeth. Uh, we need a new moderator. Come on, you. You there. Yes. You. Oh, Thank you for wait. volunteering. <laughs> Please, no. Go on then, introduce the candidates. Stage fright, huh? All right, I'll get you started, but this is your show. Three hostiles, gotta take them out quietly. Smiling to your face, 
our despicable DA! Oh, Bird mascot. Whatever your name is. Call me Penguin. Yes, of course. Penguin. We will play your game. Just please, let these people go. Play then, and we'll see. Goidos! It goes first. Heads. Questions. Asking questions. Mr. Kent, the, the, the subject on everyone's mind is the new way mental health facility. It's, it's a much needed state-of-the-art mental health care hospital that will offer treatment to the most unfortunate of Gotham citizens. I don't know the truth. I get still all this is rubbish. Get it? What? Ooh. Save it for the opening statements, Pillock. Rule one, talk when I say talk, show your gob when I say show your gob. Easy. Rule two, scratching, biting, and kicking each other are all encouraged. Rule three, always, always tell the truth, even if it hurts. It will feel worse if you don't. Ugh. Ask that guy. Smart. Keep your heads down. Make for the police line. And now, a word from our sponsor. My double brothers and sisters of color, you have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. We are here to end the masquerade and expose the corruption that ruined your city for too long. Men like your esteemed mayor have profited from the pain of innocence. Did you ever meet the guy on the screen? Nope. He's smart to let someone else do your dirty work. Look into the hearts of these spineless creatures. Chosen to Go me. on, love. You know what to do. Ah! that moderator gets shot on live TV. What's going on in there? First off, we should incinerate the pool. Tape. 
Subject 9. Dad. I thought your father was dead. Subject 9. Esther Cobblepot. You've been declared criminally insane and committed to Arkham indefinitely as a ward of the state. Please. I'll sell you the land. Please don't do this. You had your chance. You should have made the deal we offered you. Give her the drug. Thomas, we were, we're friends. Our boys play together. You were warned, Esther. You know I always get what I want. Commence the procedure. Give her a dose she won't come back from. <laughs> now you know. Now you will see. Certainly know how to make an entrance. Go! Why don't you kick the crap out of here? of it. Let Dent go. And what if I do? I'll crush every bone in your body. I knew you'd say something like that.
City Hall is in chaos after Mayor Hamilton Hill was confirmed dead. While several members of the Children of Arkham have been arrested, the Penguin is still at large. He won't be the same after this. Meanwhile, the Wayne family scandal continued to escalate after the full list of Thomas Wayne's victims was released to the public. Lawyers representing Bruce Wayne have no comment at this time. We are the children of Arkham, and we have opened your eyes. 